Good afternoon. My name is Matt. I'm a lieutenant with Umatilla County Fire District Number One. With this upcoming brush season, we're going to take a look at uh, Brush 22. So this is station 22. At this station we house an engine, a medic, a water tender, and then this brush unit. So let's dive into the brush. So open the cab here, just like every other rig. We have all of our controls for the siren, radios. Down on the floorboard you have the joystick for our monitor, which is mounted up front in the bumper, something we'll get to later. So our first compartment is the engineer's compartment. In here you have your different sorts of appliances, connectors, adapters. Tools and flagging. Our firing devices. And then we also carry a drip torch on the back. Inside you have different types of hand tools. We have a McLeod, Adso, and then shovels, pitchforks, some of the other tools of the trade that we use for our district dealing with haystack fires and some of the grass fires. So in this second compartment, we have a first aid kit, our line gear, have to wear this if we get away from the truck more than 100 feet, and also one section of hose or some extra hose in case we blow it on our Travis packs, one of the other implements we'll talk about on the other side of the truck. on the board. Okay. I'm guessing there's still three then. 24 just cleared, we're good. So brush 22 is classed as a type 6. This means it carries over 150 gallons of water. In particular this carries 350 plus a 10 gallon foam cell. On the back we have a drip torch. This is usually kept with a 3 to 1 mix of diesel to gas. This is what we're going to use when we're burning out or trying to light our backfire. Here we have the pump package. So this is an independent motor of the, the main engine. Runs the whole setup as far as our discharges and then our two live reels on the sides. So those we'll get into later. So in this compartment we have a chainsaw with all of its complement of safety gear and then a toolbox. Our normal complement is a pair of shafts. Now these are made out of Kevlar, same thing as the bulletproof vests. And then that way if you drop the bar, when the chain's running, it's not going to cut into your leg. I have a Dolmar. It's a 50 to 1 mix for gas to oil and then bar oil on this side. And then lastly our toolkit carries extra chain and a scrunch. So this compartment houses our Travis packs. This is a progressive hose lay that we utilize. We'll check out one of our videos of training at station 23 from last week. Water! So as I said on the other side of the truck, we have two live reels, multiple different answers these, hard lines, live reels, whatever. The beautiful things with these is we can do a mobile attack. So it's a hundred foot of one inch hard line. And then I can get about, well, let's say 10 feet from the truck and be spraying water as we're putting out fire driving the fire line.
So now we're in the cab of Brush 22. We have the center console with the radio and siren light complement. In the back here we have some uh, snack packs that shout out to Battalion Chief Corey Gore made for us. Also have a small cooler in the back for some water. As you can see to be response ready, we have our gear stored in here. If we're jumping rigs like we normally do, it'll be in the ambulance or the other engine. What I was talking about earlier is the joystick to run the front mounted turret. So just like your video games, fire to, or pull to shoot, close left, right, forward and back. So here we have the sidewinder of the front turret. This is controlled from that joystick that was in the cab. This allows us to work from the cab, driving our fire line and spraying water from this discharge, keeping both our guys safe inside if conditions are bad enough that we can't be outside fighting fire. Thank you for joining us on the second episode of the Rig Rundown. We'll see you on the next one.